Concert performance lies at the heart of the work of Royal Holloway Choir. Unlike other collegiate choirs, our primary focus over the last decade has been preparation for performances, whether concert, recording or broadcast. The skills learned in this context are hugely valuable for future professional life. Conductors like Harry Christophers and other professional choir directors love working with graduates from Royal Holloway because of their flexibility, their ability to communicate with an audience, understanding how to work with microphones and cameras, and always striving hard to achieve the highest standard. Here's the choir with Eric Whittaker making a recording for an American TV company. Our weekly schedule revolves around a concert performance in the chapel, and this gives us the opportunity to perform an unusually wide variety of repertoire. We like undertaking unusual projects and working with other musicians, ensembles and composers. Here we are live on Radio 3 with the guitarist Ant Law in an extraordinary piece for choir and electric guitar by Gabriel Jackson. We also like to work with early music ensembles, whether it's a concert performance like the Monteverdi Vespers, or here rehearsing with fretwork in advance for another radio broadcast. We have even enjoyed collaborations with jazz musicians too, and here we are rehearsing with Acoustic Triangle in a commissioned new piece by the amazing jazz pianist Gwilym Sincock.
We've worked on a number of really interesting projects with the saxophonist Tim Garland, who you just saw and heard playing. Here we are making a demo video for a project that we plan to pick up again next year. Due to the choir's flexibility and reputation, we undertake a lot of recording projects. Pre-pandemic, I can safely say that we were making more recordings than any other collegiate choir. We have at least four recordings lined up for the next 12 months. Here the choir are recording a recently rediscovered mass by Pierre Villette, and to make this recording we decided to take the choir to Paris to work with the wonderful acoustics and organs in that amazing city. give some 45 to 50 concerts each year, some on the college campus and others around the UK and abroad. Our home concerts also give the Choral Scholars a platform for their solo performances. The choir has travelled widely with a number of American tours. As we are represented by Edition Peters Artist Management, our run up to Christmas is always busy. Recently we had a concert in Italy, followed by another in London, and then travelled to Germany for a third. Here you can see the choir enjoying a wonderful arrangement of Jingle Bells by Ben Parry as part of a sellout run of concerts before Christmas in Holland. You never quite know what events the choir may be called to sing at. We've sung for the televised Festival of Remembrance from the Albert Hall, performed in Buckingham Palace, and the Queen visited us a few years ago. Of course, we are also a chapel choir and enjoy enriching the liturgy. And here at Royal Holloway, we work closely with both our Anglican and Catholic chaplains to sing a wide variety of services, including a weekly choral evensong. Again, we enjoyed a very wide variety of repertoire for these services. Here you can hear them singing to Rachmaninoff in Church Slavonic. Small ensemble performance is also an important part of the training here. Scholars build a really close musical bond with each other, and then we provide further extra training from former members of the King Singers. Recently, one of our groups has had fun experimenting with close mic recording. 
I hope you've enjoyed a snapshot of the choir's work and can get a flavour of the variety of life here. These unique experiences and opportunities, together with the friendships formed, will certainly last a lifetime.